Yeah, I'm doing a video to old fucking gear up. It's his latest fucking anti fucking vaccine tirade, which is quite fucking hilarious. And I've never done a gear up video, but this is the perfect one to start on. And before anybody's like, why don't you get a fucking screen cap? I've already explained it. I like this. I like the rawness. You know, I'm raw, motherfucker. Fuck you. So yeah, let's just start this. I'm starting at about a minute 24 in because he just babbles about fucking trolls. The first couple fucking, the first minute. And I'm like, who the fuck do you think you are, motherfucker? Me? So yeah, you know, fuck him. Trying to steal my fucking stick, Willie. Next subject matter. Hey, things are happening here in America. That's right. It's like reading... The book of Revelation. Is anybody else a little fucking concerned that this motherfucker is getting medical advice from the book of Releva Relevations or whatever the fuck it's called? Who gives a shit? Made up fucking nonsense, prophecies, shit sh tards is what it should be called. If I could change the Bible, that's what I would call the book of Relevations. It's much easier. We've got swine flu. Oh, yeah. Get used to this shit. Every fucking second he cuts to a picture because I, I guess he, he, he thinks so little of his audience that they won't fucking follow him. So he's got to throw in pretty fucking pictures. So they're like, oh, he's talking about swine flu because the baby's kissing the pig. I would have never figured that out. You know, and be fair, what the crowd gear up is pandering to, I wouldn't be surprised that they are that fucking stupid. That almost every night on the news they're talking about, it's like a huge pharmaceutical commercial. That's what it is. Watching the news is a pharmaceutical commercial. Big business, those pharmaceuticals. Big, big business. Uh, gear up, you want to know why they talk about that shit? on the news every night because the news has really become more entertainment than fucking news for the most part like on news hour they don't really talk about that much maybe once every two weeks but I mean yeah on the nightly news they talk about it because it's like fucking bird flu it's it's you know it's the next scary fucking story and, it, and once flu season fucking is over and, you know, the same amount of fucking people died from fucking swine flu as fucking did bird flu and it's not really that big of a fucking deal, then, you know, they'll head on to the next fucking scary thing. And, you know, I kind of fucking find it funny that you complain about the news and, you know, people scaremongering when you are fucking scaremongering telling people that fucking... Vaccines contain poison and not to take them. That is, you know, really scary shit to tell people. Gear up. So, you know, you might want to rethink your tactics a bit. Yes. Another fucking picture. Ooh, p lab coats and shit. It's got to be evil. You know, who got the contract for all those swine flu H1N1 shots, huh? Also, I'm a little fucking confused because he all he keeps fucking really railing against big business in this fucking video. And I'm like, what are you, motherfucker? A socialist? A communist? Because I don't fucking think so. I mean, you know, I don't see you talking about the horrors of the proletariat or anything. So, you know, what the fuck? And by the way, I'm, I'm asking the skeptic community out there, those right. sleuths out there that can do all kinds of Google searches, what, what's exactly in the H1N1 swine flu vaccination? What exactly in, is in there? And can you tell me why mercury has been used in vaccinations and why that should be good for us? I'm pretty sure your audience, no matter how dumb they were, could figure out mercury is bad for you without the little fucking picture gear up. 
But anyways, nicotine and many people have already fucking talked about this. It's it's one, it's trace amounts of fucking mercury and thymine or whatever the fuck that other shit is. And the only reason that shit's in there is as a fucking preservative in large quantities. And you can actually ask for fucking single shots that don't have mercury and this shit in it. So really, this is a non-fucking issue. You're just trying to fucking scare people to believe in this NWO fucking shit. You know, Mom Ra and the Riddler and fucking Skeletor are all just fucking circle jerking each other like, yeah, we got those motherfuckers now. We're going to kill off half the human population even though it's counterproductive, which I'll get into in a fucking moment. More pictures. You know, and look, he didn't even say anything. He cut to a fucking picture. You should say something, then cut to a picture, motherfucker. To lose your attention span. That's pretty fucking obvious think, with the pictures. I want you to think why we need the flu shot. Okay? If I decide not to get the flu shot... Why should that be a problem for you? It's not. I'm not getting the, I'm not getting the flu shot, but that's, you know, I'm not getting it because I'm like, oh my God, it's fucking poison. No, I'm not getting it because I don't have fucking health insurance and I can't fucking get a flu shot this year because it'll cost me money. That's money I can spend on food or alcohol. So I'm going to have to take my fucking chances and just hope, you know, I... Have so much alcohol in my system, it'll just kill fucking bacteria. That's what I'm shooting for. Kids, don't try that at fucking home. I'm a professional drinker. If you get the flu shot, shouldn't that solve it for you? Shouldn't that solve it? Uh, yeah, it should. And, you know, I haven't seen anybody, you know, say, if you don't get a flu shot, you should be drugged out into the street and burned and fucking your children raped before your eyes and fucking, you know, you gotta go on a reservation. Name me somebody who said that. Name somebody. Give me a name, a date, and a fucking, you know, uh, um, a, a transcript of what they fucking actually said. And then I might fucking leave. If you want the flu shot, if you want the H1N1 swine flu vaccination, then you go ahead and get it. More fucking pictures. Uh, I should start drinking. If I don't Every want it. You know, let that be on me. Jesus fucking Christ. But I don't want... Your mercury laden. That's weird. Cancer laden. Slow kill. Any proof, asshole, that vaccines cause cancer? Any? Huh? Huh? That's what I fucking thought. Shot. I mean, I really don't want your new world order, okay? I don't want your big brother police state tyranny. You can have it. That's what, If you want that... I'm willing to bet that... Um, Europe's never ran, read fucking 1984. And to be fair, a lot of people constantly like, always fucking afraid of 1984. But if you actually look at our society and fucking fictional dystopias, our world is going way more towards fucking a brave new world than it is ever going to fucking 1984. I'm going to end it here on that fucking, you know, on that up. Part two coming up.